Welcome back with us folks. Tonight we're showing you why we were okay to chase Tesla when we did and we'll, we're going to explain the reasons behind the idea. Now straight to the point you know as well as I do that Tesla likes to trade around lunchtime and we need to keep an eye on that one and you see this huge volume that started um, all of a sudden with leaks from um, features for the new cars in the carbo neutral bill that um, the president wants to bring out is all promoting this uh, this play. So the idea is to one, keep an eye out, but I was late because basically the whole thing was already rising. I don't really like to catch catch it when it's rising. The idea is to catch it when it store, starts to come down a little bit. Now. I'm going to give you a tip. Don't tell anyone what I like to look for are these things. One, lunchtime. Lunchtime, right? Keep an eye out on this one. Second, there was news and volume. News and volume. That will promote the play. And then let's do a, another thing. They move. Usually you'll see Tesla go like this, a little pull back, up, a little pull back, and a third time. I like to see to be able to get in when it pulls back like this. There is a second and a third push. You look for here, if we are breaking through resistance, good chances are that we are going to follow through with the rest of the the play. So here picking any strike would have been good. We decided to go on the 1150. They were cheap. When we're looking for only a small push, doesn't matter the strike really because you're not really affected by time. You have no intention of keeping this for a long period of time. What you're doing is, you know, you're trading this push to the upside if it starts going sideways after that you're no longer in the play what the idea is to just grab the move up the open interest the uh implied volatility everything is going to go on your side so no matter what you pay for the play it's going to be uh, very profitable if you manage to sell to the upside so showed you a few things to watch and the reasons why we were okay to chase is this um look at where we hit right i'll show you exactly what we hit is this line um this was my interest in my interest line why i was interested in this line and i'll show you let's put it on the one hour chart and it clearly shows that it used to be and currently is show you so you guys can clearly see here it becomes support now here it becomes support as well here we were very close to that now this is bang on basically it came here on this line and then here it went up came down so it used as support came down twice on it used as support and this again used as support so you know that the next time when it goes to get through it it either rejects it, will try to get above it, but if it doesn't, it was going to come down. So here it flushed. This idea here is really weird, but you know, it flushed through right away. And then you see here, it's trying, it's not making a move above. Let's move back to the five minute chart. Same line, not touching it. So basically here we have a lot of activity on, on, um, this part here so you see it's resistance as soon as we get above that it becomes the move to the upside that we're looking for so why okay to chase well we're getting above it at the time I looked at the chart we're above it now I'm looking for an entry and we alerted right here right it's it's pulling back a little bit now we're on the five minute chart but obviously at that time I'm on the one minute chart I'm looking for an entry where you know, it's going to fall back down a little bit and then obviously it was going to push up. When we play like this, the idea is to get a fill on the downside, not on the upside, because 
when everyone is leaving the boat, that's when you want to get in. So as soon as we crossed the line, I was bullish and it rejected it. And then this is a confirmation. As soon as we crossed it, now you know it's going to move to the upside. Now let's move to the um, one minute chart so you guys can see this. We are, oops, sorry, I'm getting, I'm making you dizzy here. Um, there are a lot of candles on the one minute chart. So recap here. I see it pop. I see it move to the upside. It's crossing my line. So I'm waiting for it to come down, right? And this is where I believed it had found a bottom. And you see this, this, um, conjunction of multiple lines here this is where we bought and we alerted it was precisely 1250 so what to bond this is you know when you look at it it's coming to this line it's a tima it's the um this one is the 50 so it's the 9 ema and the tima on the 30 line this is on the one minute chart so it gets really really, really busy but you're looking at it, there's a wick. See this wick down the bottom? And then it gets to the next, the next candle is a little higher. So this is where we bought. It's really trying, consolidating. It's really, really trying. So for this moment, yes, it becomes a little scary. Why? Because if we reject it, it's gonna flush down, then the play is lost. I mean, it's not going to, it's not going to fly there. It's not going to fly at all. However, all this volume here was telling us that something's cooking and something's happening. And as soon as we crossed above the line, we're good to go. Now, back to what I was telling you, there is a one shot, pull back, another shot, pull back, and we try to sell on the third shot. So here again, it's doing the one, the first shot. We bought in. It took a little longer than expected. Second shot third shot see that right let, let me put this in perspective that you guys can see a little cleaner so again there's this little pullback where we try to buy this is where we bought is so this is the first of the the hook thing this is the second one and this is the third one this is where we we need to sell will it go further i think so right and it did eventually during the day however the length that we have we're way out of the money we want to keep this short short duration people get they they, they look at the play and they think oh i want to get in i want to get in and this is when the iv the implied volatility is there a chance that now Tesla will go to 1150 the strike that we took when it's trading sideways all day here on a day like Wednesday well <clears throat> it might but you know who, who wants to pay for that however when it's rising quickly you know in in just a few moments here it took ten dollars right so is there a possibility that before expiration it will take it will reach 1150 yes it, it the, the um, chances are higher that we reach that so this is why the IV or implied volatility gets higher as we move towards um, the uh, towards the strike we bought here the 1150 for uh, 115 a dollar 15 per contract and we sold exactly at um, we alerted the exit at 1334 which is as soon as it starts to curl down we alerted the exit at two um 208 so this is a good play short play short duration will it go further we don't care we have chased we entered higher right it would have been nice to to, to get into the bottom but what I'm telling you, this move to the upside is what you need to look for. So I was okay to chase for 
many reasons. One, we broke resistance. Two, we had news, an enormous amount of volume. Three, I was finding the entry on the, um, uh, the EMA conjunction. I prefer to have, um, I prefer to have uh, this kind of indicator, which is my old line that is uh, the old resistance. And there's another line that you can look for as your target. Um, I'll show you what the target is and I'll put the drawings in. This would have been a good target and why. I'll show you on the one, uh, maybe just the five minute will be enough. Yeah. See how this, oh, the, the yellow line is the previous resistance, and then it's the second resistance on the upside, which is a double bottom you see here on the left. Um, we reached that and we got above that eventually at the end of the day. We didn't quite make it there. The idea is to make money on the way up. So if you wait until then, um, I'm not sure it would have been that much more profitable because yes, there's decay when uh, we lose time and when we start uh, going back down. So also when I say support resistance, just one last thing, you know, we talked about here, breaking above, selling here. Well, intraday, if you wanted to chase again, we're really close to that, that line that I showed you, you know. It's coming down to almost that line on support and then it moved up. So this could have been another entry. One last thing before we go, I want to show you something. We, uh, if we blow up here, you see all these lines getting um, crossing. The green line here is the 200 EMA. This other green neon green is the tima on the 30 length so they're all crossing and when the tima gets above everyone just like you see here um this is where it's crossing right everyone's crossing well and it it, it appears that it's it's about to do something now let me pause this and i'll show you something really cool now i've switched you to trading view and this is where we were looking at where everything is crossing, right? Now I'll show you this thing. I've been, um, JTW has been promoting it and lately we've been promoting it as well. And check this out. TradingView and Neptune alerted exactly on that line. Doesn't matter the, the lines or anything, it alerted way before that big pop. So um, kudos to this uh, Neptune. And I just wanted to show you guys that if you ever need to try something different, maybe give us, uh, just uh, send a DM to uh, JTW and I'm sure he's going to be able to fix you up with that. So remember, sometimes it's okay to chase. And in this particular case, it was all planned. And the idea was to know when to exit as well. So I hope you guys learned something and see you all soon.